Sunny day finally gave people down the shore a good chance to check out any damage and start the cleanup process after several days of rain and flooding. And Jeff, you were there. You checked it out for yourself. Yeah, I did. It was, here's what's interesting. As you guys have been going through the top of the newscast, the tide is coming up here and pushing us further and further into the beach. Look at the dune behind me. Here is the real damage down here. It is a gorgeous day here in North Wildwood, but that is bad news. They think here in North Wildwood they've lost as many as 50 feet of sand on this dune, and this dune protects commercial property from the ocean. Here's what we found out today down here. Walking North Wildwood's beach or its promenades in a brilliant autumn day is one of the joys of the shore. We're down here for a girls weekend and just to enjoy it and we came down and we brought the sunshine with us. But there's trouble here and it comes in the form of a wounded dune battered and torn by the surf of the early week storm and there's fear of a breach if it all falls away. And if you have a breach, what happens? Uh, if, if, if we don't act preemptively that that translates to millions of dollars in public and private infrastructure damage. The destructive power of the storm was evident Monday as the dune at the end of 15th Street was lashed. The city engineer who walked it Thursday calls the loss massive, not only leaving the dune vulnerable to another storm, but impacting the beach as well. So we'll have beach, but uh, particularly at high tide, it, it's going to be it's going to be really tight. North Wildwood is spending eight hundred thousand dollars to place a metal bulkhead where these Jersey barriers are to hold back the ocean. But what it needs, says the mayor, is a long promised state and federal supported dredging project to replace the sand. What you're seeing, quite frankly, is just a failure of government. It's a failure at the state and federal level to undertake their moral and legal obligation. Nicolette Griffin strolls the beach with her two year old Frankie fascinated by the pretty stones. No matter the cost of the dune repairs, she's all in. I come here every summer and I plan on coming every summer forever. So I definitely think it's worth it. And everyone who comes down here, I feel like would feel the same way. So here's what they want. They want the federal and state governments to support what they, in essence, is putting a dredge out here on the water, a big old boat. It picks up the sand and blasts it back here on the beach and shores up the beach and the dune. That is very, very expensive. They say they've been promised that and they want it. In the meantime, what they typically do is truck in sand and put it here. But now the storm has even take that, taken that route away from them. Live here on the beach in North Wildwood, I'm Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Folks. That's, that's a big loss there, Jeff. Thank you.